Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about the different treatment options for eczema. Now, for most types of eczema, treating your skin will focus on two principles. One, repairing that weak skin barrier, and two, decreasing inflammation that's coming from inside the body. Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Song. I'm a board-certified dermatologist and clinical researcher. I specialize in medical dermatology, and today we're going to learn about how to help your eczema heal. Now, unfortunately, at this time, there's no cure for eczema, but it is controllable. This condition can be super frustrating because people find that even though they do all the right things, that they still get an eczema flare-up. Having an eczema flare out of the blue is common. So here is my approach to getting control of your eczema so it doesn't get in the way of your everyday life. The first part is repairing that weak skin barrier. Find a daily moisturizer one that is fragrance-free, comes in a cream formulation because it's thicker, and then something to help replace those missing proteins and fats that are important for forming that protective layer on the skin. Some of my personal favorites are Cetaphil, CeraVe, and Vanny Cream. This protective layer on the skin helps to keep moisture in and irritants out. A common myth is that bathing dries out the skin. This is only half true. Bathing in warm water, not hot water, every day helps to re-moisturize the skin. And then immediately using that moisturizer locks in the moisture from the water. So if the water's too hot or you don't apply that moisturizer, your skin will dry out and make you more susceptible to eczema flare-ups. So showering and moisturizing every day helps eczema skin heal and make your skin more resistant to future flare-ups. Now, the second component of healing your eczema focuses on treating the inflammation that's happening in the skin and the body. There are many different treatments for eczema, so what you and your doctor choose together depends on the type of eczema you have and how severe it is. There are prescription topical medications, and these are medicines that are applied directly to the skin. These are often steroids, and they work by decreasing the inflammation at the skin level. Topical steroids are often the first line of treatment because they can work quickly and be used safely for short periods of time. Side effects like excessive thinning of the skin or easy bruising happen when these medicines are used on normal skin or in sensitive areas like the groin or underarms. So in situations where your eczema is more widespread or resistant to topical medicines, oral medications are helpful because these medicines work throughout the body. Oral medications like prednisone or stronger anti-inflammatory medicines like cyclosporin or methotrexate work by targeting that inflammation that's coming from inside the body. These medicines can give you more immediate relief and for longer periods of time. Now, if your eczema is really stubborn and keeps coming back despite doing everything right, another option is light therapy where a specific component of natural sunlight called UVB is used to decrease inflammation at the skin. So it's something like you undress and step into a light box and the ultraviolet light treats the whole body at the same time. Imagine a tanning bed, but remember, tanning beds are not a substitute for light therapy. Treatments are done in the doctor's office and require you to come in on a regular basis of two to three times a week for at least three months. And then there are biologics. Biologics are injectable medicines made from living cells that target a specific inflammatory protein that's elevated in the skin and blood of eczema patients. There's currently one FDA-approved biologic called dupilumab, also known as dupixin. It works by normalizing the levels of itch proteins that are important in the eczema inflammation pathway. This medication has changed the lives of patients with a particular form of eczema that is chronic and recurrent, known as atopic dermatitis. Remember, eczema symptoms can be different for everyone. Not everyone will respond to treatment in the same way, so it may take some trial and error before you and your doctor find the right treatment for you. Let's review. The basics of managing your eczema comes down to, one, knowing your triggers. Number two, bathing and moisturizing every day. And number three, using your prescription medication consistently and as prescribed. And don't forget, treating your eczema means healing your skin from the inside and out.